Hey there, CrossFit Deliverance Athletes. Welcome to another Be Real this vlog. It is Thanksgiving weekend, which means we have our adjusted schedule. Monday through Wednesday is exactly the same. Thursday, all classes are replaced with a 9 a.m. Outlast class, so enjoy that. And then Friday, we are closed, but every since we've been open, we try to go a hot out and get as many people to come out to what my family calls the turkey shoot. We've been doing it for 15 years, super fun. We go out and play some paintball. So uh, feel free to look at the Facebook membership page to get details about that. Always, the more, the merrier. It's going to have a Frosty Friday type of uh, vibe. We'll bring in a barbecue, some meats. You just go ahead and bring your sides or whatever you want with your meats, right? So we'll see you there. Um, with that, guys, let's get into programming. We're going to be doing the classic shoulder flow that involves um, L-sit hangs, toes to bar, ring planks, ring push-ups, handstand holds, handstand push-ups. Guys, I want you to think at every point of this, we're trying to keep an active shoulder. So that means during the hang, we aren't here. We're actually having a scapular pull-up. We're in control. We aren't trying to lean back actively through the lat really hard during the range of motion. We're trying to stay test static, but we're just making sure that this shoulder capsule is actually on and we just aren't at the end range of motion. Um, same exact concept for the rings uh, and the inversion work. You're gonna do have a back squat again. It's gonna be a little heavier than last week. You are still gonna use that 5RM number that we got at the very beginning of test week. For the workout, guys, I the intention of this is for you to, to go ahead and try to trust your strength and grip a little bit more. If you've been noticing, rope climbs is on Monday and the volume keeps on increasing per set. So it was one rope climb, now two, now it's three rope climbs within per set. Go ahead, we've been, this is going to be the third week getting into the gymnastic cycle. Go ahead, start testing out your raw pulling strength and your grip. Hopefully it has increased and gotten better. My challenge is for you is try to get up on the rope sooner than you what you think you might be able to and try to trust yourself. Be safe, but stretch yourself in that manner. For you competitive athletes, your choice when you want to do this skill wad. Um, if handstand push-ups and inversion work is a strength, go ahead and do it under fatigue. So do it at the end of your session. If handstand push-ups and inversion work is a goat for you do it at the beginning when you're fresh this is essentially going to be a pike push-up but your feet are going to be elevated box so it's going to be a little harder you're going to go ahead and do one rotation around the box with your feet still planted handstand walking rotationally uh, then you're going to do three again and then rotate back around the opposite way do three more so this is all about musculature endurance in an inverted state Remember, it's easy in a pike push-up, and I see it all the time happening. And in a box, it seems to happen a little bit more. We still need to get the correct initiation for the shoulders to be moving forward when we go down. So what that would look like is when I'm in the bottom of my handstand push-up, I'm like this in a proper tripod pose. And then what ends up happening is I press through, I become even, and then a lot of people just go straight down like this. What we need to do is have this initiation back, right? So we're back in that tripod pose every single time. So focus on that, guys. Have a fun one. And we'll see you on the flip side. Be relentless in everything that you do.